All right, good stuff. Hope everyone's got your hand weights or bean tins or wrist weights or whatever, something weighing about um, half a kilo, one in each hand, gives you some resistance. You can also do these uh, workouts on a punch bag if you have one, or a partner who can hold some pads for you if you're lucky enough for that right now. First thing we're gonna be doing uh, is, is looking at some, some Panachukin and working it from both leads. So just to begin with, just to get warmed up, we're gonna look at a fairly simple combination. Uh, left foot forward for this one. It's gonna be right straight, across, hook, and cross. That's it, reset, right straight, left hook, right straight. Cross, hook, and cross. Everyone's fairly familiar with this. Let's go for a minute and a little bit. Three, two, one. Press go. Go. Okay. Cross, hook, and cross. Cross, hook, cross. I'm going to try and keep my elbows tucked in here. Hook and cross. Looking to rotate my body with the strikes as I go. Cross, hook, and cross. Rotating my body from my feet. Through my knees, pelvis, shoulders, arms shoot all the way out, hitting the target. Cross, hook, and cross. To begin with, my hands can be up somewhere near my face, but as I punch, my non-punching hand is going to be covering on this side, my shoulder from my punching hand is going to be covering on the other side. Kind of loose, cross, hook, and cross. Cross, hook, cross. That's it. Cross, hook, cross. Not a big race right now. We're going to have a little bit of a blast at the end here. So if you're already feeling tired, good. Keep breathing. You'll be okay. Cross, hook, and cross. Cross, hook, cross. Cross, hook, cross. Cross, hook. Time. Okay, same thing. Now right foot forwards. So it's going to be left straight, right lead hook, left straight. So cross hook cross, but with right right foot forwards. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Cross hook cross. Right foot forwards now. Left cross, right hook, left foot, left cross. No words. You can do it. Been a long week for everyone, I think. Start adding in a little bit of head motion if you want to with each punch. So you see if I'm moving my head offline nicely, moving it here, here. That's helping with the weight transfer as well as helping with some defensive kind of motion. Cross, hook, cross. I don't mind if you want to do a hook with palms down, thumb towards you, or palm towards you, thumb to the sky, whichever one you'd like. I don't really mind right now. Pluses and minuses to each one. Thumb to the sky translates nicely to a slap. Palm down means if you punch it with knuckles and the uh, angle of your elbow is a little bit further away, then you're still going to hit with those knuckles. Also means if you're doing pure boxing, it'll still be caught uh, still be a legal strike. Whereas if you've got thumb to the sky, palm towards you, it might be like uh, pawing with the inside of the knuckles. Doesn't count. Making sure you're still rotating your whole body with each shot. That's it, okay, time. Gonna go back to left foot forwards. Cross, hook, cross. Left hammer, left hammer. Cross, hook, cross. Left forehand hammer, left backhand hammer. Of course we can follow on with a longer combination, but I just want to get the idea of a big hammer on the end. So conventional punching, one, two. And just like when we're swinging a stick, it's that recovery part of the swing. If you can make the recovery nice and smooth, 
you can kind of have the confidence to swing even even harder. Whereas if you're trying to catch the, especially when you're holding hand weights, if you're trying to catch the weight of your hand, then it pulls some of the power away from it. Anyway, you ready? Minute and a half, same deal. Let's go. So right cross, left hook, right cross, left hand hammers, forehand, backhand. Cross, hook, cross, left hand, forehand and backhand. Cross, hook, cross, forehand, 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 backhand. You really start to sink your weight into these hammers. I mean, there's a bit of sinking in conventional punches as well, but rising up, sinking down, rising up, sinking down to really add some, uh, yeah, some real momentum and force to those punches. One, two. Cross, hook, cross, one, two. Cross, hook, cross, one, two. Cross, hook, cross, one, two. In terms of targeting, this could be just with the kind of hammering part of the hand, could be with the forearm, could be with the wrist, could be with an object in my hand, whatever it is, same motion if I get my whole body behind it as well, it's going to have an even bigger effect. Cross, hook, cross, hammer, hammer. Cross, hook, cross, hammer, hammer. Time, okay. Last one of these four. Right foot forwards. You probably guessed the pattern now. <laughs> left hand straight punch. Right hand hook. Left hand straight punch. Now it's right hand doing the hammers. Forehand, backhand. So left cross, right hook, left cross, right hand hammer angle one, hammer angle two. So even as I'm hammering, I'm still keeping my left hand up there. One, two. Just in case. Cross, hook, cross, right hand hammers, angle one, angle two. Again, same thing applies with sinking your weight, turning your whole body weight in there. That's it. You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So left cross, right hook, left cross, one and two. Cross, hook, cross, one, two. Cross, right hook, left cross, hammers, cross, hook, cross, rise up, sink, rise up, sink. Cross, hook, cross, rise up, sink into the hammer, rise up, sink into the hammer. Cross, hook, cross. <clears throat> cross, hook, Head movement again. One, two, three, hammer, hammer. One, two, three, hammer, hammer. One, two, three, hammer, hammer. Cross, hook, cross, hammer, hammer. Cross, hook, cross, hammer, hammer. Cross, hook, cross, hammer, hammer. Angle two. Cross, hook, cross, hammer. Okay, see how we're doing. Three more reps, let's go. Some of you frozen. <laughs> okay, and time. Very nice. Quick breather and a sip of water if you want to. Quick sip of water, let's go. back to this idea of diamond footwork a little bit. But we've got to use our imaginations for this particular setup. 
And then think about it with a um, the training partner who's representing some kind of back and forth with my uh, with my opponent, with my enemy. The setup we're going to use is fairly arbitrary, so I'll try and keep it kind of simple to get the idea of, of the footwork we're going to use here. So it's I jab. I have to envisage that you jab back at me, which I'm going to catch with my right hand. I jab again, and then you're going to jab me. So it goes me, defend, me, and you. Jab, catch, jab, and catch. I jab, I catch your jab. I jab again, I catch yours. When I say I jab, I don't mean like a, like a poke in the eye. It means I'm throwing a punch that is called a jab. I'll stop there. Jab, catch, jab. See, I'm advancing and retreating just a little bit with each one. Here, jab, here. Jab, here, jab, and back. Jab, here, jab, and here. Jab, here, jab, and here. Can we do it? Nice and simple. This has been the uh, starting level of the drill. We're going to be building on it. So, 115, 3, 2, 1, go! Jab, catch, jab, catch. 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 Hey guys, how are we looking? How are we looking? Nice. Now, I'm not actually looking at parrying anybody's jab right now because they're jabbing me and we're at, a, we're at a similar distance here. I'm just going to put my right hand in front of where the target would be. So, Put my right hand in front of where the target would be, and I'm moving my head back just a teeny tiny bit. So if they're aiming to hit me in the chin, and enemies over here, aiming to hit me in the chin, I move it back a bit and I put a target in the way. And I just have this as a as a shield. I just have this as a shield here. So I, I punch, I move myself back a bit, and I put a shield in the way. I'm not looking to try and parry or do any big motions right now. Jab, catch, jab again. Jab, catch, jab, catch. That makes sense. Cool. Having said that, we're now going to change it. So I jab, I catch, jab again, and this time I don't retreat, but I slip to the side. Just kind of staying where I am with my feet for now. So my part of this roll goes jab, catch, jab, slip. Jab, catch, jab, slip. So I'm trying to keep the, the ground that I've gained. So we're looking here, I move in, I'm going to be hitting there. And I'm kind of out of range here, drawing them onto me. So I go in, they come out. I just have to catch their jab right now. I go in again, and they hit me back, but I just slip. So I'm moving my head off the line there, hoping that I can come back with something because uh, they haven't touched me and I can move a bit quicker if I don't have to have uh, hands on them right to start with. So, jab, catch, jab, slip. Jab, catch, jab, slip. Reset. Jab, catch, jab, slip. Can we do it? Three, two, one, let's go! Jab, catch, jab, slip. 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 Jab, 
crunch, jab, slip. Jab, crunch, jab, slip. Jab, catch, jab, slip. Jab, catch, jab, slip. Jab, catch, jab, and slip. So that's the idea with the slip. I'm regaining, not regaining, keeping the range that I gain. So I gained, retreat, gained, stayed. One, two, three. Four. Okay, and everyone happy with that? Let's see. That's it. Just for now, I'm focusing on slipping to the outside of their returning jab, so slipping to my right. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, next section. I'm gonna go back to using our diamond style footwork here. And so far, if we've been thinking about jab, catch, jab, slip on the, on the back, on the, the uh, near part of our diamond, the base of our diamond down here. Jab, catch, jab, cover and step. So there's a combination of slipping my head, I'm gaining some more ground, and I'm either covering or trying to make a forearm to arm connection, or in a perfect world, elbowing some ribs. So if you think about the other side of this drill, they've been hit with my jab, they jab me back, I get caught by my glove, hit by my jab again, they jab me back even more. Actually, I, I slip to the outside, I kind of diagonal stepped in a bit, diamond stepped in, and put my elbow salute up there. So hopefully I can catch them in the ribs. Next best thing is getting some kind of connection on the arm. So after that jab's there, there's something here that slows the return. Or at worst, I've just moved a little bit further forwards. So I've just gained a little bit more ground on my enemy here. So let's go that far. So we go jab, catch, jab, Left hand covers, right hand steps out to the side. So this is the same as our advancing two, three, low back hand, stab slash check, but we're just on, on the mirror image of it now this way. I'm gonna start here, I do my thing with a jab, I'm gonna cover, advance to here, and then I'm gonna do something to mean that I'm I fully advanced on someone, not a temporary advance, full advance. Anyway, jab, catch, jab, left hand covers, right hand steps out to the side. It means that I slip my head offline. So one, two, three, up, and I've gained some ground forwards. Let's do it, everyone together. Jab, catch, jab, left hand salute cover. I've got the palm of my hand on the side of my head. Right foot steps across to be um, kind of square for my enemy, but again, I'm loaded, my hips are loaded, so I can either unwind, I can continue my stepping, or I can escape this way. And then from here to here. So jab, catch, jab, cover. Jab, catch, jab, cover. Jab, catch, Jab, left cover, right step. Jab, catch, jab, left cover, right step. Jab, catch, jab, left cover, right step. Let's see it, guys. Jab. Catch, jab, cover. Jab, cover. Good, good, good. So in a way, this is going to be similar to um, to false lead. I'm effectively switching leads 
and changing direction a little bit at the same time. So if I'm left foot forwards, punching with my left hand, as I switch to this kind of square stance, I'm actually in right lead. If my enemy was in front of me here, it's just that they're off to a diagonal. They're off to a diagonal from me, so I need to make sure my cover and some of my weapons are pointing that way. So this is effectively right foot forwards, uh, left rear spike elbow and cover at the same time. From the side, effectively I'm here. I started, jab, catch, jab, cover. Let's move on to the next steps, okay? And we're gonna do the full advance all the way here using this diamond footwork shape. Jab, catch, jab. Square step and cover. Now if I'm lucky enough to get an arm connection here, I'm gonna parry it out of the way with my right hand. And then as I step to the front of the diamond with the left hand, I'm gonna hammer with my left hand. Kind of down with the left foot, hammer with the left hand. All the way back. Jab, catch, jab. Cover on the square, parry and hammer. My hammer lands as my foot lands. <clears throat> From the side, jab, catch, jab. Square step, parry the arm if it's there, hammer the arm, and then the left foot lands. And then, uh, that's cool. Two seconds of fade, Yang, how are you doing, man? Connection issues, you okay? Cool, it's good, good, good. One more time. I'm doing my full advancing footwork here. So I've done the jab and catch and jab thing. Cover with the left elbow as I do a square step here. I'm gonna hammer the arm or parry the arm. And then left hand hammer lands on the neck or the face. And then I've got my broken down the barriers here. I've moved my way in from this long range thing. That's it, we go here and there and smash with something. So I'm doing my kind of long range thing. Okay, there it is. Here we go again. So I get jab, catch, jab, cover, hammer, hammer, cross, hook, cross, and I don't want to. Might as well do the full thing while we're here. Jab, catch, jab. Square step and cover, hammer the arm, left hammer on the neck, and there we go. I'm delivering that payload for us. It's a little fancy, but the idea is I'm moving my head inwards on a zigzag. I'm trying to gain ground while not being a slow forward walking target here that someone can just blast down the middle. So I'm giving them something to think about here, that's it. Cover to the outside, remove the barrier, and off we go. Something to think about here, cover to the outside, remove the barrier, hang on the neck, and now it's my turn to. All right, so jab, cat, jab, outside cover with the square step, Smash the arm, step forward, smash the neck, and do whatever I like from here. Jab, catch, jab, cover, smash forwards, and go. From the side, starting in long range here. I jab, I catch their jab, I jab again, square step as they jab, smash the arm, hit the neck, and go here. The idea is I'm covering so much ground, it's gonna be hard for them to retreat. One, two, three, one, okay, and there. One, two, three, yeah, cool, let's go. One, two, three, yeah, and there. Other side. One, two, three, all the way, okay, and that's cool. One, two, three, right sideways, let's go. One, two, three, sideways cover, hammer the arms, smash the neck, and punch. Let's try it, let's see how we're going. So maybe one to rehearse slowly to get the idea. You might need a diamond taped out in front of you, that's okay. Jab, catch, jab. Square step with the right as I cover with my elbow. Hammer the arm, step forward to the left. Hammer the neck with the left hand. Cross, work, and cross. Jab, hook, jab. Cover, and there. 
You want to add the power aims first? Can do. Need a second hammer to get the arm out of the way. Thinking more like you know, just kind of sliding in low, keeping my head moving from one side to the other. Not an easy target to hit, hopefully. Come with the arm, smash the neck, cross, hook, cross, one, two. Get okay, man. Breathe in, very nice. Let's watch a couple more goes. That's it, that's it. So we can replace the exchange of jabs or whatever it is with anything that's kind of, kind of long range. So we can now put this into your shadow boxing if you want to, now whatever else you have in there. And just occasionally I go square step and salute cover. Then the left foot steps forwards and I unwind on there. So effectively I'm just kind of going one, two, pretty easy. One, two, just walking forwards. One, two, I make this punch, elbow, and a punch. Elbow, clear, hammer, punch. Elbow, clear, hammer, punch. Elbow, clear, hammer, punch. We do it, we isolate that part just on its own. The so left foot forwards, right foot goes to a square position as I left elbow. Hammer over the front with my right hand, left hammer on the neck, and punch to go. Back, back. Square and cover, hammer the arm with the right, hammer the neck with the left, and go. Square and elbow cover, hammer the arm with the right, Hammer the neck with the left, go. Square, elbow cover. Hammer the arm, hammer the neck, and go. Square step, elbow cover. Hammer the arm, hammer the neck, go. So, one, two. And one, two. That's it. Stepping slip and elbow cover, smash the arm, smash the neck, punch in the head. Two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Hammer, hammer, go. Cover, hammer, hammer, go. Cover, hammer the arm, hammer the neck, punch. Cover, hammer the arm. Come on the neck, punch. Okay. Time. Let's move on. All right, my dudes. We're just gonna have a Okay guys, we need to um, pick up your hand weights again. We're going to do a combination of punching with the hand weights and our wonderful shoulder exercises. And uh, we've got about 30 odd seconds work and then 10 seconds rest. Should be nice and easy. Everyone ready? We'll call out what we're doing when it's the rest time. <laughs> First thing is going to be so it's going to be straight punches. So nice and straight. Make sure you're rotating the hips, pulling the hands back as the other one is going out, making sure shoulders are covering the chin. You're ready. Two. 
Let's go, straight punches. Nice and long, nice and easy. Remember to breathe. Making sure that you're rotating your body here. Shoulders coming up to the chin on the punching arm. Guard being covered with a non-punching arm. Deep breathing. 10 seconds remain. Keep breathing, guys. A little faster if you can do. Okay, time. 10 seconds to breathe. Next thing we're going to do is hip hinge forwards, uh, Y shape in the air, squeeze and shoulder blades together. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three. We're just getting the motion out of our shoulder blades, squeezing together. Trying to slide down to back pockets. Thumbs up to the ceiling. That's it. Keep it moving. Making a Y shape here. My back is nice and flat. I'm hinging my hips. Yep, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Cracking a walnut between those shoulder blades. Keep squeezing. You can do it. It's too much with the weights, so you can drop them and just do the weight of your arms. All right, time. Quick breather. Next one, head height hooks. You ready? Two, one, let's go. So hook punches. Again, rotate the body. Good mechanics. Looking to hold the guard with the non-punching arm and the shoulder of the arm that is punching. I'm going to keep my forearms horizontal to the ground or high elbow or whatever it is. When you elbow too high, though, it's not swimming. Let's go. A few more to go. 10 seconds remain. Keep breathing, guys. You can do it. Good. 10 seconds rest. Next shoulder exercise is going to be T-shaped. So same thing, hinging forwards, flat back. Arms out to the side in a T-shape here. Arms to the ground. Let's go. Two, three. Little pulses, making sure that your uh, the muscles between the shoulder blades are the ones doing the work. If you feel your shoulders shrugging up to your ears, try to do the opposite of that. Try and sh uh, shrug down to your belt line. Keep going, guys. Twenty seconds remain. If it's too much. It's okay to. Uh, Put the weights down, just use the weights of your arms. It's gonna be enough if you've got a decent burn already. <laughs> Five seconds. Time, okay, shake your arms out. We're gonna do uppercuts next. Uh, pick the weights up if you put them down. You ready, uppercuts. Let's go. Again, using my hips, keeping them nice and close to me. Like I'm resting my forehead on my enemy, and I'm punching in the bottom of their chin. Turning my hips to go. Arms and elbows nice and tight to my side. Keep breathing. Easier to say when you're not shouting. <laughs> 10 seconds for me. We can do it. Two, one, time. Okay. Next shoulder exercise is going to make an A shape. Thumbs down to the floor. So again, hinging forwards at the hips. A shape here. Let's go. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Small motions. Trying to put my shoulder blades in my back pockets. My back and my neck nice and straight. Make the double chins if you want to. Only me who's being filmed. <laughs> You're welcome. A few more to go. That's it. Keep going. Make sure you're doing a good squeeze between your shoulders as you get to the top of every repetition. Keep breathing. Keep squeezing. Shoulder blades together and down. And time. Very nice. Last two rounds. We've got straight punches. Yeah. You ready? Two, 
Well, let's go straight punches again. Faster this time, much faster. Keep those elbows in nice and tight. Don't want them flaring out like this. Elbows in nice and tight. Throwing from your hips and feet. Trying to stay on target. That's it. I'm gonna make sure you can move back with every rep. Keeping a semi-decent guard with a non-punching hand. Shoulders up to chin. 10 seconds left. Burst of speed, let's do it. Keep breathing. Time, okay. Very last shoulder exercise. We're gonna do chicken wings. So I'm gonna put my thumbs towards my armpit, elbows together, little squeeze like this. Let's go, everyone together. Little squeezes. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Back and down in the back pockets. Back nice and straight. Unlock your knees to hinge if you need to. Effectively just doing the chicken dance with a squeeze every time your elbows go together. That's it, keep squeezing, let's go. Ah, came in and looked at the clock, 10 seconds left. When we get to the end of this, we're just gonna do a squeeze and hold. So prepare yourselves, you're ready. Okay, squeeze and hold, squeeze as hard as you can. Elbows together, shoulder blades together and down. Squeeze, 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 keep squeezing. That's it, keep bracing. And time, okay, slowly, slowly, slowly release them. Slowly, slowly, slowly. You can round your upper back a little bit if you want a nice little stretch. Whew. There we go. Who are we kidding? I'm not tired. Okay, weights down everybody. Good job, very nice. <laughs>